places I could take them to. When it comes to lifestyle, I'm unbreakable. There's a lot of different. What up, what up, what up? Unbreakable kicks. Army, man. We got a little bit of time to say that bread, y'all, because I seen the post today and I'm like, oh, yeah, man, I, I got to jump in front of the camera and talk to the army about these, man. But army, don't forget, I do got the second channel going now, man, Unbreakable Clips. And again, it's going to be like clips from the live streams or like shorts or like if I'm talking about Marvel, if I'm talking about TV shows, if I'm talking about wrestling, like. We, 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 we trying to step it up, Army. I'm trying to give y'all different content, man. Because like i always been saying for years, your boy is more than just sneakers. But today's topic, of course, is going to be about sneakers. And it's going to be about the Air Jordan 1s that are dropping in 2025. Can the Air Jordan 1s be revived? But some people are going to say the Air Jordan 1s ain't dead. Only thing I say about Air Jordan 1s, Army, before we go too deep into this list, is I do feel like things are getting redundant. You know, when we got the Shadow Backboards for the first time. That was like the first time we got an Air Jordan 1 OG high with that burnt orange colorway. Like, it was just different. Then we got the Court Purples, and then we got the Pan Green. And not saying we never got green Jordan 1s, because we had, like, the DMP one. So, like, certain colors we may have seen in the past, but it was just, like, their color blocking just did something for the retro ones, the quality it was just a, the ambiance of the air jordan ones was at an all-time high in but do y'all think that that can be revived seeing some of these releases that's dropping next year i low-key can see this joint being revived all right army so we're gonna go ahead and look at the air jordan ones that will be dropping so far in 2025 now the first one my man mr unloved ones got up now some of these army like i know he loved his retro ones some of these, I, I know for a fact, I'm good on a decent amount of these. Like, we got the Air Jordan 1 High OG Red Air. The Cinnabars, like, I'm cool on those. And, Army, I don't know if y'all remember, years ago, they had, like, some Air Jordan 1 Red Airs where it had the Air Jordan. And then I want to say on the back of the shoe, it said Rare Air 2. Like, and if I'm not mistaken, those joints are up right now in price, too. But I'm not saying the demand is going to be half of those because of the past pairs is up. For me, it's a pass, Army. I can pass on those. And those are scheduled to drop on January 18th. Retail going to be 180 Now, the next one, Army, these are a cop. 100%. We got the Union LA Air Jordan 1 High OG. And like I said, a lot of people are calling these the Shadows. C-H-I-D-O-W-S. But those are dropping February 2nd, 2025. Those will be $200. But Muzz going to pay that $200 for the Union. This is Union Air Jordan 1. This is going back to the original unions that we got, and the demand will 100% be high on these. All-Star Weekend type vibes, Army. These going to be tough. These going to be tough. Some of these collabs, some of these Jordan 1s will bring up, you know, the demand for the Air Jordan 1s next year, I feel like. Because the next one is dropping two days later, Army, on Valentine's Day. Again, All-Star Weekend vibes. You got the Air Jordan 185 half breads. Again, release day February 14, 2025. Retail gonna be 250. I don't think that $250 price tag is gonna deter people from grabbing these. These joints will sell out. I do got a bet with a member of the army right now. He's saying that these joints gonna sit. I'm saying these joints gonna sell out. Even at 250, like even if the rumor on the Air Jordan 185 has Chicago's, if that was, you know, to be true. People would have spent the 250 on those too. Because if they would have came in the pack, people would have spent five hundred dollars for the pack. You know what I'm saying? So both of these joints are gonna sell out. Again, Army All-Star Weekend, Valentine's Day, pick your battle wisely. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know you gotta put some bread to the side for the spouse, you know, for the lover. But hey, just let them know up front. Hey, that's gonna be a busy weekend. Hey, that's gonna be a busy weekend. Oh, we get busy, all right. <laughs> Hey, 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 tell her right now, when we getting busy for Valentine's Day weekend, hey, that, that wallet going to be loose. That wallet going to be... <laughs> Army, Army, hey, y'all get it? <laughs> Next up, y'all, we got the Air Jordan 1 Low OG Chinese New Year. I'm cool on them. I ain't really been a fan of a lot of the Chinese New Year since, I want to say, what was like the dopest ones? The, the 12s, maybe? Back when they first started with the Chinese New Year's, I know they had some Chinese New Year's sixes. I done forgot them now. 
you know, it's like once they started doing the lows, back when I wasn't really rocking with the lows, I just lost all interest in the Chinese New Year lineup. So those should be dropping in January since January is always Chinese New Year. Next up, Army, we got the Air Jordan 1, high OG, deep royal blue. Those dropping in February as well. Retail would be 180 bucks. Like even, you know, shout out to the mob, bro. I'm still going to pass on them. I don't need them because of some of the other joints that we get in later on in 2025. Like 2025 is stacked. 2025 is stacked. You know, with the releases, y'all, for real, for real. Because next up, we got the Air Jordan 1 Low OG Phantom. Again, it's certain lows that I got my eyes on in 2025. Certain lows that's coming home with your boy. But these right here, now nah, I can pass on them joints right there, Army. So I can pass on the Phantom. And we will be getting the big swoosh in 2025, especially with the lows. Now, from what I've seen from Mr. Unloved One, it's not going to be as... You know, over exaggerated big swoosh like the 2015 lows and things of that nature, but it will be a bigger swoosh than we have gotten, you know, on the lows that we've been getting as of late. All right, Army, next up we got the Swarovski Air Jordan 1 low OG stealths. Army, if y'all knew what your boy had to go through to pronounce this word, Army, I'm literally on Google, like, bro, how do you pronounce this? Like, I see them all the time in like the fancy malls. Them joints retailing at a thousand dollars though. And they dropping on my daughter's 10th birthday. Hey, hopefully you, maybe I can get a dub on my daughter's 10th birthday. These joints being $1,000, May 15th, 2025, y'all. We got the Swarovski. It always make my eyebrows go up, man. Swarovski, Air Jordan 1 Low. These gonna do just like the dunks. Muzz gonna want them because of what they are, man. So like, I only wanna say this is a retailer bus. Like, I, I just can't see myself actually getting a retail dub on these joints at all. And I definitely won't pay the resale value, Army. So, it is what it is with those. Also, Army, we got two more Air Jordan 1 Lows. We got the Air Jordan 1 Low OG Rust Pink. And of course, we know the Rust Pink is from the Art Bases, yo. Shout out to my boy Scotty again. He, my man's a. Army, he gifted me these joints. These and the uh, the igloo joints, man. Shout out to my boy, Scotty, yo. Real talk, man. Appreciate you. But yeah, the lows. The lows come out in 2025, May 31st. Retail going to be 140. And like I said, I want to say those will have the bigger swoosh on them. Then you got the Air Jordan 1 low OG Obsidians. Obsidian's going to be nice. Those going to be nice. I'm surprised that the Obsidian OG has have dropped so much in value, y'all. Like, those joints were up like i remember making videos talking about how i regretted selling my pair so soon because them joints was four five hundred dollars at one point i look now them joints like less than three i'm like yo when did this happen like has this been like happening over the last couple years the last couple months like where was i at where was i at that i wasn't paying attention to the market like that army like i like, I know I was busy, you know what I'm saying? Like, maybe I'm just mad at my own business and making my own bread that I wasn't paying attention to what the market was doing on me because I had no clue. Like, literally, those rookie of the years, the best hands in the game pack, like, literally any Air Jordan 1 that was at least 500 plus is dang near less than, like, 350 you know what i'm saying so grab them while you can army like i said this is the best time to be a sneaker here yo and, and speaking of the rookie of the years we also got the air jordan one low og rookie of the years dropping me personally some of them i like the lows better than the highs but some of them i like the highs better than the lows so i'm kind of you know 50 50 on the rookie of the years i'm waiting on my mocha one lows to come in from bscn it looked like those just shipped from um they just shipped from overseas today. So hopefully I have them soon. I'm surprised I ain't have them by now. BSCN is pretty, you know, they normally been pretty quick when it comes to the shipping. Next up, Army, this one is a must cop. The Air Jordan 1 Low 85 Royals, retail 160, spring 2025. Those are those are double up. Like it's time. It's time. It's time to replace these. Granted, these do got the big swoosh. Granted, these do got the army. I done put so many mouths on these joints. These one of my favorite lows. The Royal Lows low key may be my favorite pair of Jordan 1 lows. So it's definitely time to replace those. Air Jordan 1 High OG Patton, black and white, pass. Them drop in spring 2025, retail 180. I'm cool. Like I say, patent leather on retro ones. I don't know. It is something about it. I just feel like it shouldn't happen. It shouldn't happen. And I ain't gonna hold you when you know when the bread. Patents came out. I was excited, but then I looked. I'm just like, 
Nah, man, Retro 11s. Just, for the most part, just keep patent leather on Retro 11s. Next up, Army, we got the Air Jordan 1 Low OG Watch Tilt. How them joints look? Eh, I mean, nah. Nah, a little key. Like with a little aqua little Nike swoosh. I can see mugs freaking them out. Probably put like some teal laces in them joints too. Or like some blue lace. Like, them joints low key might get freaked out, Army. Those and those are women's exclusive. And most of the women Air Jordan 1 lows always go for less than retail. So, those right there might be a less than retail cop. We got the Air Jordan 1 High OG Varsity Red Women's also. Because I was looking on here. I'm like, Varsity Red, we getting the Chicago's? But it ain't the Chicago's, Army. But we get in a women's Air Jordan 1 High OG Varsity Red. How they going to do? I don't know. Because when you look at them unions, them unions is nice. Them unions is nice. I'm glad union is starting to go back to their old roots. Then we got the Air Jordan 1 High OG UNC Reimagine. That's a cop. That's a cop off the strength that they doing them like the Lost and Founds. Like I say, Lost and Founds was the best Reimagine that they dropped. So you throw that UNC colorway on there, like, I can't see y'all going wrong with them. I'm glad y'all ain't do patent leather. I can't see y'all messing them joints up. Don't let us down with them joints. For real, for real. Don't let us down with them joints. Uh, what else we got? Also, Army, we got the Air Jordan 1 High 85 Reverse Shadows. Probably pass on them. I would have just preferred the Shadow 85 Highs. Give me all the OGs 85 Highs. Like, I feel like, Army, I'm almost to the end of the puzzle. Like, I feel like every sneakerhead has a puzzle, right? And there's certain pieces that you need to complete that puzzle. Like, I'm almost there. Like, do y'all catch that or not? Like, I'm almost there, Army. Certain more pieces, and then there's literally nothing else that I would need. And that's going to be an issue with Jordan brand, because I feel like it's a lot of... It's people with less shoes than I got. I probably still got maybe like, I don't know, Army. I just sold and, and sent to flight store maybe like 150 personal pairs. Maybe. You know, and I still got 300 plus. In a, you know what I'm saying? So if I'm feeling like this, I know other people are feeling like this too. Like I need the Raptor 7s. Bam. That's one more piece. You know, I need... Another Bordeaux 7. Bam. That's another piece. Like once I get them last, man, Army. It's almost time to it's almost time to hang it up. For real, for real. Also, Army, we got the Air Jordan 1 Low Fragment. Travis Scott. I need them joints. I need them joints. The fragment lows, the OGs, it's killing these. But this is still it's the same, but it's different. And it's with that fragment collab. Hopefully, we get some, you know, some more merch, some better merch, you know. But them, those gonna move. Those gonna do what it do. Those gonna be that Travis Scott hype. It, it's not gonna be like it was with the Canary Yellows, you know what I'm saying? And the, you know the joints that the Phantoms, like those gonna be out the gate, fifteen hundred, even on release day. Like these, these, these gonna be that three thousand dollar Travis early, and then once he come closer to release, then it's like two thousand. You know, 1500. Those are gonna be trouble. And last but not least, Army, why not end it off with the Shadow Backboards returning? I think the Shadow Backboards gonna sit next year. Real talk. If they want the UNC color in the Air Jordan ones with that color block, if, if man, what what the, the yellow ones? They ain't gonna want the orange ones. <laughs> like real talk. Like we got the whole Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, you know, in that in this color blocking, and the orange Ranger was never part of it. So, so with that being said, Arby, I can see them joints. I can see them joints sitting. Those who want them, those should be an easy cop for people next year. So, with that being said, Army, let me know what y'all plan on copping as far as the Air Jordan ones. If I had to just pick three before we get up out of here, the Bread Eighty Five Highs, the Travis for Oh dang, I can't do that to myself. Hold on, now. can we do four? Can we? Because this one is tough. Because Army, I was gonna go with the Bread Eighty Five Highs. Then I was going to go with the Fragments. Then I was going to go with the uh, Royal 85 Lows, but I forgot about the Unions. Oh, man. Um, dang. Dang, dang. Y'all going to have to look out. Look out for my IG uh, reel on this one. I answer it on the IG reel, okay? I answer this one on the IG reel. Y'all make sure y'all tap in with me on the gram over there as well, Army. I mean, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. You got your boy Unbreakable. You got the Unbreakable Vote. Unbreakable Army sent strong. Like always, most importantly, hug your loved ones and, of course, remain humble. 
and we out. Next up, we got the Swarov. I mean, I always, bro, I always uh, the Swar uh, Swarovski. <laughs> Swar what? How you pronounce it, bro? Swarovski. The Swarovski. Am I saying that right? Swarovski. Swar. Swar. What? Swarovski. 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 I hit a brick up before they use it. Get a plug, call them when I need them. He's old stuff, but he get a music. He was old, him first season. The most beefy, looking like two laps. Two laps, cause your ass taking nails.